Welcome, dear friend. Today, we're going to explore a question that's been asked for centuries how to stay happy in every situation. It's a question many of us ponder, often when things go wrong, and the peace we once felt suddenly seems out of reach. But there is a way to cultivate lasting happiness, a happiness that's not dependent on what happens around us but grows from a deep place within. Let's journey together to uncover this inner peace. The first truth I learned on my own journey is this. Happiness is not the result of our circumstances but of how we choose to respond to them. I remember, as a young monk, struggling with the discomfort of discipline early mornings, cold baths, hours of silence. At first, I resisted, thinking, if only things were easier, then I would be happy. But one day, my teacher shared something with me that changed everything. He said, happiness is like a flame, it needs only a little fuel. But if you keep waiting for the perfect conditions, the wind will blow it out before it even starts. And I realized that my happiness didn't need to be controlled by comfort or ease, it was something I could nurture from within, even in challenging conditions. One of the most powerful lessons I can share with you is this, develop the habit of gratitude. You may have heard this advice before, but its simplicity often disguises its true power. When we're able to appreciate the small blessings, breath, food, a kind word from a stranger we begin to find joy in even the smallest moments. If you're feeling challenged or weighed down by something difficult, take a few moments each day to reflect on three things you're thankful for. And not just the big things perhaps it's the sunlight streaming through your window or the sound of birds. Even these small things become a source of peace when we acknowledge them. Another practice that brings happiness in any situation is to remember that everything is temporary. I once lived near a beautiful cherry tree, and every spring, it would bloom so vibrantly. But within weeks, the blossoms would fall, covering the ground in pink and white petals. The cherry tree taught me about the nature of life itself, beauty, joy, even sadness, are all temporary. If we resist this truth, we feel sorrow. But if we accept it, we find peace. When life is difficult, know that this too shall pass. And when life is good, be present and enjoy it fully, knowing that the moment is precious. Sometimes, we get trapped in the cycle of wanting and craving. Have you ever felt that if you just achieved that goal, got that promotion, or bought that new item, you'd finally be happy? But often, once we have it, the satisfaction fades, and we're on to the next desire. I remember wanting a certain book as a young monk, thinking it would complete my understanding. But when I finally had it, I found that it didn't bring the lasting happiness I had hoped for. True happiness comes when we are content with what we have. Try this for yourself ask, do I need this, or is my happiness complete in this moment? This reflection can bring us back to the joy of the present. A key to lasting happiness is compassion, compassion for yourself and others. When we face hard times, we tend to blame ourselves or feel unworthy. But happiness cannot grow from self-criticism, it grows from self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness you would a friend. And as you move through your day, spread that compassion outward. Smile at a stranger, listen without interrupting, offer help without expecting anything in return. Acts of kindness shift our focus from what we lack to what we can give. And this generosity of spirit brings a quiet joy, a kind of happiness that is resilient. Lastly, let's talk about mindfulness. Happiness often hides in the present moment, but if our minds are always pulled into the future or the past, we miss it. As you go through your day, bring awareness to each moment whether it's washing the dishes, taking a walk, or sitting in silence. Notice your breath, the sensations in your body, the sounds around you. By practicing this mindfulness, we learn to find peace right here and now, not in some distant future. These practices gratitude, acceptance of life's changes, contentment, compassion, and mindfulness are small but powerful steps toward true happiness. When we nurture these qualities, happiness is not something we chase, it becomes a part of who we are. Remember, it's not about changing your life overnight. Start small, take one step at a time, and notice the subtle ways your heart begins to open. Soon, you'll find that happiness is no longer dependent on what happens around you but grows naturally from within. Thank you for joining me on this path. May you find peace, joy, and fulfillment in each moment of your journey. If you found this helpful, please like and share this video so we can continue spreading the message of peace and happiness. And don't forget to subscribe for more wisdom and inspiration. I have a question for you. 
What small change will you make today to bring more happiness into your life? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and inspire others on their journey.